Hi guys and thanks for checking the Watch and Roll channel. Today I'm going to show you the visual advantage of an analog watch over a digital watch or a numerical representation of time and why it is much faster to read the time on an analog watch than a digital or a numerical representation. If you're not used to read the time on an analog watch, you might have a pretty hard time figuring out what hour indices represent what time of a day. You might need to practice a lot before you can unlock this skill, but after you're very used to reading the time, you'll be able to put that information from your watch into your brain much faster and easier for two main reasons. Number one, usually displays or digital watches have a vertical visibility limit, meaning that at a certain angle, the numbers disappear. So you need to hold the watch straight to your eyes in order to read the time versus on an analog watch because it has depth and there's the light going inside, you can read the time in practically any angle. Number two, and the most important is when you have a numeral representation of time, it takes some time for your brain to transform these numeral characters into information or meaning. For example, if I give you a number between 1 and 100, which could be 45, 67, 34 or 42, you just hear a bunch of numbers and you get an idea, but you don't really have a full understanding of what is the distance between these numbers and its finishing line, which is 100. Now, if I don't tell you the random numbers, but if I show you an image of a visual representation of a distance between this point in time and the finishing line, let's say with a loading bar, you will instantly and truly understand this information. Let's apply this visual representation to a watch. Let's say 743. You need to imagine and visualize in your brain where does that 743 point of reference is situated in the durability of a day scale. Now, I won't give you this number. Instead, I will simply show you sort of a loading bar, a visual representation where you can see exactly where this point is situated along with the entire spectrum. You'll be able to see the distance between that point with the starting line and the finish line, give you more control of the understanding of time and be able to digest much easier where we are situated in time. If you enjoyed this video or think it's useful, don't hesitate to subscribe and hit the bell notification button. That helps a lot for me to continue putting material on YouTube. Thank you guys.